Since you are watching this video, you might have heard of WebGL, 3.js, React 3 Fiber or React 3 Dre. Those technologies have one thing in common and that is that they are all being used to develop 3D websites. 3D brings something unique to your website. I believe that if you want to get noticed, you need to have something to show, which instead of being standard, should stand out. With the web being so big nowadays, 3D websites is the only way to really stand out. After watching this video, you will understand the differences between those technologies and you will know when to use which for your future projects. Let's start with WebGL, which is short for Web Graphics Library. This one might be the most difficult one to understand. It is a low-level JavaScript API for rendering 3D and 2D graphics by drawing points, lines and triangles in an HTML canvas. WebGL is written in two languages. JavaScript, which is being used for the control code, which is executed on the CPU, and GLSL, short for OpenGL Shading Language, for the shader code, which is executed on the GPU. The GPU is designed specifically for rendering, which makes it possible to render complex 3D scenes in your browser. I would say there are two main reasons to choose WebGL over the others. In case your project needs to be optimized in a way that WebGL frameworks like 3.js do not support, or if you want to know the real basics and understand what happens on a low level when rendering 3D scenes. Because those reasons are relatively uncommon, I don't will go any deeper into WebGL in this video, but if you would like to see a separate video about WebGL only, please let me know in the comments down below. The next one is 3.js a JavaScript library that makes it a lot easier to display 3D content on your screen because it abstracts all the difficult WebGL code away from you. It was originally written by Mr. Dupe, but has now more than 1600 contributors. There are other libraries available like Babylon.js, but for me 3.js is the most easy to use and well-documented WebGL framework currently available. But feel free to try any alternative and if you do, please let me know in the comments down below what your experiences are. If you are new to 3.js, you should definitely visit their website to see some of the most amazing 3.js projects available. I added the link down in the description. If you did check the website and were as amazed as I was, consider subscribing to the channel for more 3.js related content, so one day you can build the same awesome stuff. I would recommend to use 3.js if you are either new to building 3D websites building a small demo project or if you are trying to create a 3d website without the use of react as your front-end framework the next one in the list is react 3 fiber a react renderer for 3.js which is being maintained by an open source developer collective called poimandres if you are a fan of react like me react 3 fiber makes it possible to develop 3d websites inside of the react ecosystem you might think that React 3 Fiber has limitations because it's another shell around 3.js, but this is not the case. All 3.js functionalities will work in React 3 Fiber without any exceptions. There is no hard dependency on a specific 3.js version, so you don't have to worry about breaking code because of a new 3.js update. Some might say React 3 Fiber adds an extra layer to your code that people need to learn, but for me that was worth the effort to be able to stay in the React ecosystem. Another great advantage is that it abstracts away the repeating code that you have to write in 3.js. It also supports React Native, which makes it possible to transform your 3D website to a mobile app. The last one is React 3 Dre. This is a collection of useful helpers, abstractions, and React components for React 3 Fiber. It makes it a lot easier to add many different kind of objects like cameras, images, 3D models, shapes, and many more. I would recommend you to visit their GitHub to see the collection they offer. The link is added in the description. In my upcoming videos, I will go through some of the available React 3 Dre components, so stay tuned for that. There are more packages available in the React 3 ecosystem, for example for VR or AR support, but those might be handled in another video. So to summarize, WebGL is a JavaScript API which talks directly to your GPU using the shading language GLSL. 3.js is a JavaScript 3D library which uses WebGL in the background. React 3 Fiber is a React renderer for 3.js. And last but not least, 
Rick 3 Dre is a collection of useful helpers, abstractions, and React components for React 3 Fiber. In my other videos, we will mostly be focusing on 3.js, React 3 Fiber, and React 3 Dre. This is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you did, and if you have anything to mention, please write it down in the comments. Ciao!